Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I'm going to show you how to do a cozy rustic Christmas project with wood from our property. Then I'm going to show you how to dress up a beautiful stocking for your mantle until Santa brings all those special goodies for it. And let's check out one of my booths and see how I styled some of the creations. I'd like to thank Olney for sponsoring this video. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing out here in the woods on a crafting channel. Well, you know, some of this birch wood that we like to decorate with this time of year for the holiday Christmas season, we have some on our property, our off-grid property. So I thought I would come out and cut a few of these and we're gonna go up to the house and I'm gonna show you how I decorate with them. First thing I did was stack these in the way that I wanted them stacked and I should have put the rope that I was going to tie them together on now underneath and that way it would be all ready to go before I got messing with it but I did not do that. Now I'm going to glue these pieces together. They're not going to stay. This is just to kind of help me keep this stable until I can get them tied up and get the ribbon on. So you're going to see me add hot glue to these. Again, this isn't to, this isn't structural. This is just to get these pieces to stay where I want them to. And then I'm going to slip a piece of jute rope underneath. Like I said, I should have put this in before, like at the bottom of the stack, but I didn't. And it worked fine, but I mean, just for future uh, reference, if you guys decide to do something like this, it would work better with the rope under there. So I put it under, tied a nice knot as tight as I could, and then I will uh, trim up just some of the ends of that so it doesn't stick out too far. And then I'm going to add my black and red checked ribbon that I'm gonna add. This is wired ribbon, so I can manipulate this to fluff it up and get those tails to just kind of move where I want them to move. So I love using this when I'm gonna do these kind of projects. I then took some wire cutters and a greenery garland that I had. It had a few red berries and some faux pine cones on it. And I cut that down just enough so that I could tuck it underneath my bow and have it go across the top of the wood. Then I made sure once it fit just right, I just went ahead and hot glued the pieces down onto the wood underneath the ribbon. I did that to both sides of my ribbon and then I went ahead and added some red berries and pine cones to match each side. My husband had a great idea to drill a few holes in the bottom underneath the ribbon and where I could reach and screw in a few long screws to kind of sturdy up the stack and make sure that they all stay together. And I thought that was a great idea so I went ahead and did that and just put a few screws in to get that to, just if you picked it up it wouldn't be all floppy. I wanted it to be pretty sturdy. I got a set of these short Christmas lights from Dollar Tree, $1.25, nice and inexpensive. These plug in, they're not the battery ones, and I thought these would work great. So I just kind of intertwined them in amongst the greenery, and I stapled down 
each end just lightly so that it wouldn't break the wire to make sure that it would stay and not flop around. Hey guys, it's getting to be that time of year and I wanted to introduce you to a new set of lights that you can get from Olney. Uh, they are Christmas lights. These are icicle lights and you can get them in so many different colors. It's really awesome. You can add a touch of magic to your home with these lights and I want to show you how beautiful they look. They're actually remote control. It has eight modes on it. So you have everything that you could ever wish for, blinking, solid. Uh, they even have timer lights, so you can set it at a certain time. And I think it will be perfect for everybody's Christmas this year. There are 486 LED string lights in this string of uh, lights. And they're 40 feet long. This whole thing is 40 feet long. 81 drops on this which means as the icicle lights they go across and come down there's 81 of those and then there's nine feet of an extension on this so that it should reach any place that you need it to to plug in are pretty darn close so they come in these bundles like this and here's your remote control. And you also have the directions here. Sorry, don't mind the paint. I have been painting today. It's been a beautiful day, so. And this weather is great for putting out your Christmas lights. You do it now, and then when the cold weather hits, it's already done. So it's gonna come with a little tab in here to keep your battery from being, you know, from pushing on this and being used. And I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. And I'm going to show you what they look like at night. But I'm going to plug them in now and show you what they look like plugged in. But first I want to talk about the uh, connectors. There's connectors on here. And you can hook up to three strands of these lights together. And once you do that, if your house, you know, you want to wrap it all around your house. Because like I said, there's a 40 feet long. If you want to use your remote control it all three of those strands connected will work with your remote control so you could put these on your house with a ladder and then come down and you can work this with that the thing that i've noticed is when you do that you want to make sure that your remote is close to your plug-in when you uh when you go to change any of the functions on it if you want to do it that way like I said, there's also a timer on there. You can turn it on and off. You can have four, six, or eight hour timer. So you have all those timers that you can use. These lights are really fantastic because they stay cool to the touch. So they won't get warm if you want to use them in the house. And they won't burn you if you touch it or if a child touches it. So I like that they stay cool. I like that. It has a memory function that remembers your last mode you were on. So when you turn off your lights at night, when you get ready for bed and you don't want them on, if you turn them back on the next day with a remote, it will remember what you had it on last, which is really great. So the memory function on your timer when you set your remote will keep the timing schedule you set. So if you want your lights to come on at 7 p.m. at night, every night once you set that schedule, it'll come on at 7 p.m. And depending on whether you want four or six or eight hours, that's how long that, that the timer will set and will turn off after whatever you choose. So I think that's a really great function. These are really easy to install. The LED conserves energy, so I think that's a great thing also. The remote has several functions. We talked about that a little bit, and I love the dimmer function. So if you want it in the house and you want just a light, uh mood light in your home 
I think that'll be great for that. Or if you don't want them so bright on the outside, you can turn them up, turn them down, whatever you'd like to do. These are also waterproof. And the best part is they're on sale with a discount coupon to clip on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description so you can check that out and clip those when you choose. Now these aren't the only kind of lights that they have. They have several different kinds. So make sure you go into their Amazon store once you get onto Amazon and you can see all the different kinds of lights they have. Like I said, these are the Icicle lights. They're in the cool white. I'd like to thank Alni for sending me these lights and I really enjoy them every year when I get a set of lights from them. I just love Christmas lights this time of year. So I'm going to have them out and lit right up. I picked up a couple of these stockings from Walmart last year on clearance. And I thought they would look great on a faux fireplace I had my husband build for one of my booth areas. And I wanted to fix this up. So I like to have my stockings decorated before Christmas. And then I take them out just before Santa comes so that we he can add, he can add, all those wonderful goodies in the stockings for the kiddos. So I just took a little bit of batting and you could use newspaper, paper, whatever you wanna use. I left the cardboard that was in there when I bought them as well. It makes them stay nice and stiff and will hold what I'm gonna put in them a little bit better. So I stuffed down the stuffing down in the, the toes so they would look really nice and full. And then I'm gonna take a piece of greenery garland that I have. I always pick these up when I'm out at yard sales or even at thrift stores, Goodwill, wherever, uh, if they're inexpensive because you can use them just filling in pieces. You can use them filling in your tree to make it look fuller. There's so many things that this garland you can be used for. So I try to pick it up wherever I can for, for inexpensively. So I cut a piece off and I tucked it down in my little stocking. I have some of these little red berries also from a garland that I cut off. I like to keep these things around, like I said. And I cut off a couple pieces of those and I'm gonna glue them in to or onto the greenery so that they don't fall out because it's gonna hang off from the mantle and I don't want them to fall out when they're handled. So I just stuff that and then I had some, I was gonna get rid of it, I had some of this red ribbon and I was going to give it away and I said, nope, you know, I could probably use it and make a couple bows and it was just, just perfectly enough to make a couple bows to pop onto this. So that's that velvety ribbon and it's on one side and then it's shiny on the other. So I just made a couple of ribbons, stuck them on skewers and tuck them down inside of the stockings. And I think these made a great, uh, really pretty Christmassy look onto this mantle. And you will see the mantle that my husband built and I painted and all that uh, with the stockings on it in my booth all set up. And I'll also have the wood pile that I had made up too that'll be in my booth as well I'll have that all uh, in the video here at the end so you can check it out
I hope you enjoyed the cozy rustic Christmas projects that I brought to you today and also checking out both of my booths and how I style some of my creations in there. If you're interested in the only Christmas lights, I'll have a link down in the description and linked and pinned to the top of the comments for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so that YouTube will let you know whenever I have an upload. And if you like this video, check out this next one on the screen. I know you're going to love it.